Good day everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Game of Life, the card game. This game came out from Hasbro in 2002 and it is for two to four players. The object of the Game of Life, the card game, is to try to score the most amount of points before the game ends. In this game you're going to have a variety of different choices that you're going to be able to make and you're going to have time or money to spend per turn and there's different cards so let's take a look at it the way this game works and i'll just show you uh, one of the career cards over here is depending on what career you have you're going to have a certain amount of time or money that you will be able to spend to lay down these cards over here and these cards are going to have different text on them and they're going to be worth a certain amount of points uh, this is the point value uh, that the card will be worth uh, right over here is the amount of time uh, that you'll get to spend and the amount of money that you'll get to spend with this particular career now, when it comes to the cards, there's two decks. There's an early life deck, and then there's a later life deck over there. And I'll go ahead and show you one of the cards here. It says take an art class. It's going to be worth one point, and it is cost two time. So if you have the police officer in your possession, uh, for example, he has five time that he can spend. Since this card is only worth two time, he'll be able to play this, and you'll just simply put it in front of you like so. Now, if you have more cards uh, that will total value up to five time or to five money in this case, you'll be able to play as many cards as you would like to, so long as they don't exceed these amounts. I'll just show you some of the cards over here. It says swim the English Channel, take up a science hobby, soccer games, uh, help a friend in need. And then you get over to the uh, later life cards, which this deck you're going to place underneath this. And these are going to have things that you would do normally later in life, like buy a sports car, see the world, redo your home. And again, they're going to have up different point amounts. And so in the very beginning, you're going to deal out five cards to each player. And then you're going to have a choice. You'll be able to go ahead and uh, pick two career cards out of the deck and then pick one of those career cards automatically. Or you will be able to go ahead and become a college student, which in this case, you'll have three turns that you're going to need to do before you can go ahead and get your degree. And then after that, you'll have three cards that you'll be able to choose from the career deck with. Now, some of these cards are going to require degrees, so if you decide to uh, immediately uh, pick a career, then you're not going to be able to use these cards. You're going to have to pick a card that doesn't require a degree, like a salesperson. Uh, however, if you do have a degree, you'll be able to pick from any one of the cards that you end up getting into your possession. If it turns out you don't have a degree and you get two cards that require a degree, you'll just simply draw the next card and then take that. Some of the other cards in this deck, you've got four cards that spell out the word life. If you end up drawing all of these cards out of the deck, then that is going to end the game and you're going to go ahead and total up your points. And these are going to be in the later life uh, deck. There are some cards that are going to require prerequisites. Uh, so for example, here's one that says run a marathon, but it says you must exercise regularly or you must be an athlete, meaning the career. So if you ended up playing this card first and you laid it down on the table, you would then be able to go ahead and play this card and then you just have to spend that amount. Uh, there are also some cards that will allow you to add your, uh, your time to your money or your money to your time. So for this one, this one says, for this, add time value to money. So simply what this means is, let's say I'm a salesperson. I have four money and I have five time. What I'll do is I'll add the five here to the money, and this is going to give me nine money to be able to spend on one turn only. Here's a card that switches it up. This is take a sabbatical. In this case, you'll add the money value to the time. So what you would do in this case is you would just uh, put the four money here to the time, and this will give you nine time to spend during that particular turn. Also some cards here to say for kids, it says it's a girl, then there's one for twins, and then there's one that says it's a boy. Uh, now there's an asterisk on this point value system, and the way it works is depending on how many kids, this is how many points you're going to get at the end of the game. If you have one kid, uh, that's not going to be worth any points. If you have two kids, that'll be worth one. Two kids will be worth three, etc. And twins will count as two kids. Now you'll note on here that there is time negative one. What this is going to do is it's going to end up taking a time point away from your career. So if I was the doctor, for example, and I had three time and I decided I wanted to have a kid, I will only have two time to play for the rest of the game. Now throughout the game, you may have the opportunity to change careers if you would like to. This says a change of heart, and this one says you may take any card and play worth one to six points and discard it. So you can play this on yourself if there's a card that you don't want anymore, or you can play this on your opponent, and uh, you won't be able to play it on any kids or any cards that have an asterisk or no point values or more than six points. But if you happen to have a career that was worth five points, you could go ahead and play that and then force him to change careers. Well, let's go ahead and show you how it works. Let's just say I decide I'm going to go ahead and draw two career cards from the offset here. I've got a reporter and then I've got a police officer. So let's say I decide I'm going to go ahead and be the reporter. I'm going to go ahead and lay this in front of me like so. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and look at my cards. And I'm going to, I have seven time or four money that I will be able to uh, choose from. So let's say I decide I want to go ahead and spend time. Uh, so here's one that says get a promotion, but I have to have an overtime card, so I can't play this yet. But what this will do if I do play it is it will add one money uh, to my career, and which I'll be able to use throughout the game. Uh, so let's say take an R class. This one costs two time. So let's just say uh, I changed, decided to change my mind and I decided to play time. So I'll go ahead and play this R class card over here. I'll have spent two time. And, right, and I also have a card that says help a friend in need. This again costs two time, and since I have seven time, I can go ahead and play this as well. And then what I will do, I will go ahead and discard a card. So let's say I decide to discard this one. Uh, now in the beginning of my turn, I'm going to go ahead and draw back up the five cards. So let's say I, uh, it's my turn again, and I go. And uh, I'm looking at my cards. I got uh, some that say money, some that say time. So again, let's just say I decide I'm going to go ahead and spend time. Uh, I will go ahead and play, uh, take up a science hobby. This is three time. So I have four time left that I'll be able to spend. Right now, I don't really have anything that I can do. So I will go ahead and just end it there. And I will go ahead and discard, say, this overtime card over here. And I'll do one more turn. And let's say uh, this time I would decide I want to go ahead and spend money. So I got four money that I can spend. So let's say I decide I'm going to go ahead and get season tickets. And so far, that's all I'm going to be able to do. And so I will go ahead and discard a card. And so that's pretty much how the game works. You're mainly going to be uh, deciding whether you're going to spend time or money. You'll look at your cards and then you'll go ahead and play. And right now I've got uh, six points. So anyway, everybody, you'll just keep on playing the game and swapping out turns until all four of these cards have been drawn. And then after that, everybody will go ahead and count up their points. And whoever has the most amount of points is going to win. And that, folks, is the Game of Life card game. So my final thoughts on the Game of Life, the card game. Well, this is a game I think I heard about on Board Game Geek a while back, and I had Life Adventures, and I realized that this wasn't the same game. Uh, there are a lot of people that really like this game a lot, and I am one of them. Um, a very good game. Uh, I really like the fact that you have different decisions that you can make, whether you want to spend time, whether you want to spend money, and then you have those cards as well. Uh, that we have a prerequisite. Uh, there's one card I think that says President of the United States and you have to have two promotions and something else. So some of these cards are harder to play than others, but they're worth some good points. So it's a very good game. I really like it. It's a balanced game, I think. It gives you a lot of options as far as what you want to do. Uh, now, the only thing is this game is not easy to find. I managed to find this one on eBay. I think people on Board Game Geek probably have copies that they're willing to trade. Uh, but if you find this game, I would definitely recommend getting it. It's a good game. It's an easy game to learn. And I like it. So guys, that's my review of the Game of Life, the car game. We'll see you later. Keep on gaming.